Hi everyone, and welcome to week 5 of the second season of the Los Altos Juice Frogs Team Builder Dynasty. And this week, we are taking on the Wyoming Cowboys. And this is pretty much a must-win game for us, since we are 0 and we're 1 and 2 on the season after a tough loss to Boise State in the previous game. Now here we go, we start the half with the ball first, and on the first play of the game, Pero is sacked. A play later, it's 3rd and 6, and Harrow is sacked again, so we are forced to punt. So now, Wyoming has the ball, it's 3rd and 8, their quarterback scrambles, and he slides short the first down. So luckily, we were able to stop them there on 3rd down, and force us a field goal, and the field goal is way off. So luckily, there are no damage done, and we get the ball right back. Now here we go, 1st and 10. Get the ball the ball. Nice catch there by Warren Ball. And he spins around for a first down. Now on second and four, I think I got a man wide open. I do, but for some reason, uh, the ball did not go to the right as much as I wanted to. And it became an interception. It's definitely a tough break there. I thought the guy was open, but Harold threw it straight instead of to the side. And my, uh, Wyoming takes over on offense. Nice catch there across the middle, that's a first down. Now second and nine, similar play, and it's another first down. This time they do the read option, the quarterback Smith takes off himself, he busts through a tackle, he busts through a second tackle. Third man finally drags him down, but inside the 30 yard line. Just a courageous play there by the quarterback, super tough. This time the quarterback has plenty of time on third down, but somehow the receiver catches it short of the first down marker. And it brings up a field goal. So we are down 3-0. Not too bad. This time I go long. I think I got man open. Yep, it's Maxwell, but he's dragged down inside the 20-yard line. Nice play nonetheless, and we finally hit a deep ball. So now first and 10 on the ensuing play, and we got Maxwell on the smash route. So just like that, we are back up 7-3. Wyoming this time they got a man wide open, I think it's Ruhan. Great play by Ruhan and they get the ball near midfield. This time it's Wick, another first down. Now they give the ball to Wick on a jet sweep. He stumbles very close to the first down again. And now it brings up a second in inches. Smith drops back, he has plenty of time but he decides to run anyway. He fumbles the ball after the hit by Kramer, but one of their players picks it up right away. And we were not able to get the turnover. Now a couple plays later, it's 3rd and 6. They pass it to Norman, it's a first down. And he almost breaks it, but he steps out of bounds. Now a couple more plays later, it's 3rd and 7. And this time we stuff Smith before he gets the opportunity to run. So it brings up 4th down, and it's another field goal, so now it's 7 to 6. We get the ball back with two minutes left, and we see Cunningham sliding open. I think he's going to be, take, be able to take this all the way, but no. I decided to run out a little bit more clock. I know so there's two minutes left, and I want to try to take it down to almost no time. So now, after milking the clock, it's third down and goal, and we just give it to Nichols straight up the middle for the touchdown. So this way, there's no way that Wyoming can come back and score. So now, here we go to the third quarter, and Wyoming gets the ball to start the second half. Now it's the third and sixth, Smith looks like he wants to scramble, he does, he ducks, I completely miss him on the dive, and a nice 20 yard gain by Smith on third down. So a huge uh, first down pickup there. This time Smith got plenty of time, wow that was a dangerous throw, I thought I had a chance to intercept the ball with Diggs, but that number 25 humpback guy comes up with it. But this time on third and one, they go with the read option play again, and we stop them for fourth down. So Wyoming was able to kick successfully a field goal, so now the lead is trimmed to 14 to 9. We come right back out on offense, first and 10 in a bunch formation. Harrow has plenty of time. We got a man coming open, but I was not able to throw the ball soon enough, and we had to take a sack. So now it brings up second and 18. No one's open again, but we decide to go deep anyway. Dangerous pass should have been picked, but Maxwell comes up with it. 
Wow, that must have been a play of the game right there. Check out this catch right here. It was not a very well-thrown ball at all. It was uh, a little bit underthrown and should have been intercepted, but Maxwell came up with it. This time, second and ten, we'll get the ball. I think that's ball again. Hopefully he's not hurt too badly. That was a first down. A couple plays later, it's third and goal. We go with the inside uh, square route, and it's incomplete. Could have been picked as well. And we were forced to kick a field goal to build an eight-point, uh, one-possession lead. Now Wyoming comes right back, and they are driving with a nice catch across the middle. And I'm just hoping at this point that the eight-point lead will hold up. But Sewell, nice catch, bounces off two more defenders. Great effort there by Sewell, one of their star players. This time Smith, uh, Smith gives it to Vic on a third down run, which is unsuccessful, but they decide to go for it on fourth down with four minutes left. Not a bad decision considering the field position. And this time they got man wide open. And I was going for the interception there. I gambled, I missed, and somehow Wick was able to take it all the way into the end zone. And now they go for two to try to tie the game. Smith goes straight up the middle, but somehow we were waiting for that, and he is stopped. So luckily we still hold a two-point advantage, and we have possession, which is always nice. This time we get the ball to Cohen on the inside square route. Nice catch by Cohen. Color Hero, I mean, not the best day, but he's efficient. A uh, few turnovers, just one, so good that, uh, good in that respect as well. Unfortunately here, I think they played the two-man under, and we have to take a sack on third and 19, which is always bad. We got a man wide open. I'm going for him, but somehow their defender makes a great play. And even they had a chance to intercept the ball. So unfortunately, we have to give the ball back to Wyoming. Not good considering that they're only by, down by two and not down by three. And just a tremendous run there again by Smith to put his team in great position near midfield. Second and one. And he gets the ball complete to Norman and he jukes his way to a first down. This time it's a screen play to get to Seawall. And our players just cannot bring down the Wyoming runners, at least not before they get a first down. But here they give it to Strahan, and same thing, Strahan gets a first down. So now within uh, two minutes, this is definitely crunch time. If Wyoming is smart, they will play this until they can kick a field goal with no time left. But unfortunately, they make a tragic play here that brings up a second and 16. One play later is third and eight, and we have a chance to stop them. They get the ball to Bruce, but we were able to tackle him before he gets the first down. A huge play there, as you can see, I, I had already started using the timeouts. Now we come right back, we get it to Cunningham, and Cunningham's going to outrace everybody for the touchdown, but instead I decide to chew off some clock, and uh, basically stop the ball inside the five. And I chew off all the clock, two plays later on third down, we score with almost no time left. Otherwise, since we were down by one, my, Wyoming definitely had a chance to come back. But now we're up by five, we'll go for the two-point conversion, that's successful. So basically, uh, the plan worked uh, perfectly in the sense that we were able to build a 7-point lead and with no time left. So now Wyoming has one last ditch Hail Mary effort. Oh wow, and the, the ball returner broke like three tackles and he almost made it all the way into the end zone. The good news is that because he broke so many tackles, the time ran out and they didn't get a chance for a Hail Mary. But uh, that was actually very close. We're lucky to come out with this win at Wyoming. Uh, so we're lucky to uh, get away uh, with the win here. We didn't play our best, as you can see, only scored 25 points, but basically still a win, and we leave Jackson Hole happy. So looking at the stats, I mean, decent day for us, 300 yards, only one turnover, so pretty clean game overall, but we were not able to convert a lot of our third downs. But still uh, very lucky that we got this win, and as you guys uh, know uh, earlier, uh, Wyoming actually has slightly better ratings than our team, so it's always good to get a win in that fashion. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and next week we are going to be uh, playing another game in week uh, week six against New Mexico. So hope you guys enjoyed, and see you next time.